Hey, how's it going? DeAndre Jones here. Today we're going over the cat leap. Don't forget, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Now, the cat leap is one of the basic fundamental movements in parkour. It's very important in case you want to, you know, you're trying to jump to a ledge. You can't necessarily get there, but you know you can get to the wall. It shows you how to safely and securely be able to grab the wall and let yourself back up. Also, if you slip up on a precision or something like that and you can't quite stick it and you start to fall backwards, you can instead drop down into the cat leap position and I'll show you that as well but um, this move is very important you know it's a very it's a fundamental move but a lot of people get it wrong and a lot of people hurt themselves doing it they hurt their ankles their hands and there's just a couple key um, key principles to this movement that will make sure that you're safe okay so it's important when you're starting out that you find a ledge that's not that far that you can definitely make without trying um, the reason that is because you just want to you know rework the technique and rework uh, the basic form of the cat leap and just start with baby steps. Now, um, most people might not notice, but the cat leap is very similar to the precision. Just like the precision, you swing your arms forward, your body weight leans forward as you jump, but as you land, you pull your body weight back and allow your feet to touch the ledge. But instead of touching the ledge, since we can't make it, we're touching the wall. And that's a key fundamental element that'll keep you safe because as long as your feet touch the wall first, you can't hurt your hands. And I see that a lot with a lot of people, they jump, and they grab it hands first, then their feet come slamming down. That's bad for two reasons. One, because all your body weight, first impact on the wall is your hands. That's not good. You can easily bru your, bruise your palms, and then your legs come flailing behind, and you can like break a toe or something like that as your legs like slam into the concrete wall. So for example, I wanna show you the correct way to do a cat leap. Again, watch my body. I'm gonna lean forward, but as I get closer to the wall, I'm gonna lean back and allow my feet to engage the wall first before my hands come and grab the wall. Now I want to show you a bad example of how to do a cat leap. Again, like I said earlier, I'm going to allow my hands to touch the wall first before my feet, absorbing most of my impact and then allowing my feet to just slam into the wall, which is, you know, completely unsafe. But here's an example. So again, that's not what you're going to want to do. You want your feet to touch the wall first, allowing it to absorb the impact. That way, whenever your hands grab the wall, it's less impact and you're able to just freely grab the wall, secure yourself, and be safe. So, again, just like a precision, swing your arms back. As you swing your arms back, you're going to bend down. And as you swing your arms forward, just like a precision, you're going to jump forward, put all your body weight, your top half of your body weight in front of you, but as you land, you want to lean back to allow your, your legs to absorb the wall before your hands. And the reason why we want to lean back is just because as we're leaning back, your, your feet are for sure going to touch the wall before your hands. Your, your legs are longer than your arms, at least for most people. So um, you're going to want to jump, lean back, allow your feet to take that shot into the wall, preferably together. A lot of people, when they jump into it, they jump and they're either scared or something and they let one foot grab the wall and then your both your hands follow. That's unsafe because you could sprain your ankle. That's a lot of impact going into the wall. So you don't want to jump and land with just one foot followed by your other hands. Well both your feet together the entire time to ensure that your ankles and your feet and your knees can absorb the impact correctly. Okay? Again here's an example. Okay, so once we understand the basic mechanics of a cat leap and how to go into one safely, next you're going to want to work on jumping into a cat leap from standing on top of a ledge. And the reason why is because if you can imagine jumping to a precision, being able to get your feet on top of it, but not being able to quite get your body weight on top of the, on top of the wall, so you, instead you fall back, you're going to want to push off and jump down into the cat leap position. Now it's a little bit different. And it's kind of situational depending on the precision or the jump or whatever, but I want to show you an example of how you can practice that so that way in the future if you ever go for a precision jump you can't quite make it, you can safely drop down into a cat leap and it makes it a lot easier for you to just go for precisions and just go for jumps that are, are pretty big because you know you have a safer way to get out of it. Now the drop down cat is a little bit different than the cat leap. Your feet have already made contact with the wall therefore eliminating the shock from your hands, but you can't get your body weight quite on top of the wall for the stick. So you're falling backwards. What do you do? You want to jump down into the cat leap position. What you want to do is you want to place your hands down behind you as you start to fall back. And when your body weight falls falls back, you're able to put your feet onto the wall and safely 
climb down into the cat leap position. This is what it's gonna look like. Boom. Try to stick. Oh no, I can't make it. Ugh. Boom. Easy. Very easy to do, yet very important, and it'll keep you safe in the long run. I would just um, recommend finding a ledge similar to that height and just practice dropping down into the cat leap position from that ledge. From there, you wanna find maybe a precision um, between two walls that you're able to do the precision but purposely not completely make it. That way you can practice dropping down into the cat. You can drill that, mu that muscle memory in your mind. That way, if ever an emergency situation comes and you have to do that, you will be able to do it without thinking. With that, that's gonna end the Cat Leap tutorial. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Comment down below. If you wanna see a tutorial and I can do it, I'm definitely gonna teach it to you. And um, peace.